It was a beautiful morning in Los Santos. Freight was just finishing a run when he noticed the brown streak, who Freight could see was on the verge of an existential crisis. Are you feeling alright? asked Freight. Well, I can't complain, said Brown Shriek. I said it unconvincingly. Freight wanted to cheer his friend up and he said... <laughs> Freight wanted to cheer his friend up. And eventually, Brown Shriek spoke up. I love my branch line, he said. But I can't help but wonder what's beyond the blockade that stops us from entering Les Venturas. Freight tended to the little brown streak and said that sometimes the best travels are those we can only dream about. <laughs> but brown streak wasn't listening. He was too busy thinking about how he was going to charge through that blockade the moment an opportunity arose. Later that day, Brown Streak was getting ready for his usual run, where he delivered cargo like half a mile down the line because none of the map was unlocked yet. He was just about to start when he felt something fall onto him. Ah! He looked back. It was one of the local game members. Ow! And another. Ah! And another. One of the gang members ran to the front of Brown Streak and kindly asked him to drive as fast as he can. Can you do that for me? He asked politely. Oh yes, said Brown Shriek, while somehow making eye contact. And just then, a motorcycle pulled up alongside Brown Shriek and CJ the driver let out the sigh, as if to say this wasn't the first time he'd done this today. Brown Shriek raced away like never before, much to the annoyance of the chasers, but they didn't give up. We've got to get those fools, said Melvin Harris. Follow that train! And the race was on. Presently, a Glendale was taking a break on the crossing while his driver was arguing with Oh, never mind. Suddenly, everyone began to fire their weapons. Bang, 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 bang. With Melvin Harris not hitting anything whatsoever. One of the gang members slipped and was clinging on desperately to Brown Streak. At last, they had a perfect aim to one of the gang members when... That was free! He wasn't stopping to say hello. Brown Streak was tired. He wasn't used to high speed chases and bike shooting at him. He began to give up all hope when suddenly just around the corner, his luck started to change. There was a barrier blocking the other track. Take the high road on the right, said Melvin Harris. They managed to dodge the barrier just in time. What the fizzling firebox is out, CJ? The train! He yelled as an oncoming train came in from the other side in a hurry. Brown Streak could see Las Venturas. It was far away in the distance, but the Brown Streak, it looked closer than ever. The gang members mustn't have known about the blockade on Frederick Bridge, and when they found out their path was blocked, they had horror on their faces. But Brown Shriek wasn't ready to give up on his dreams. I'm gonna ice these fools, man, said Melvin Harris. But it was too late. You've done it! Hooray! Cheer your gang members! Brown Shriek's face was a little sore, but as he chopped away to a new adventure, he couldn't be any happier. <laughs> CJ and Melvin Harris weren't allowed on the other island and slowed to a halt. But they were still determined. We'll try again tomorrow, said Melvin Harris. After all, all you have to do is follow the damn train, CJ!